Hello and welcome to the snowy Bavarian forest. Winter is truly a terrible time to hunt microbes. And this is why today I'm going to hunt some lichen. Let me show you what I mean. The lichen we're looking for today is the so-called gold dust lichen. It loves it dry and cozy. It's a kind of a luxury lichen, let's say. It usually stays under overhanging rocks or boulders. So let's see if we can find some. It just loves caves like these. Exposed to sunlight, but at the same time protected from rain and weather. Lichens are a symbiotic communion of some algae and a fungus. Of course, it would be easy enough to just slice it thinly and throw it under a microscope. But believe me, lichens hide a bigger treasure that waits to be discovered than just algae and fungus mycelium. If you take a piece of lichen, like this, just a tiny piece, and you put it directly on a glass slide, I mean a microscopic glass slide, and you put a few drops of acetone on it, you will see that the clear acetone suddenly changes to exactly this color. The acetone extracts some very interesting compounds from this lichen. Now, if you wait until the acetone evaporates and you take off the rest of the lichen from the slide and you put it under a microscope in polarized light, you will see this. crystal landscapes you're seeing under the microscope are lichen acids, rather complex organic compounds that have antimicrobial properties. And of course, you can tweak this extraction to your liking. You can use different solvents, for example, ethanol or methanol or isopropyl alcohol, whatever you like you will have always different results, different crystal landscapes. You can play around as much as you want. And furthermore, you can use this extraction method also with all other types of lichens. You will be surprised what kind of results you get. But my favorite is the gold dust lichen. The crystals it yields are just superior to all crystals from all other lichens that I've seen until now. These crystals are absolutely beautiful to watch and they open a window in a world that is often hidden when you do simple microscopic observations just by slicing it into thin layers. Well, I hope you like this excursion into the world of lichens. I know it was not very deep, but it's a start. Thank you so much for watching. Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious.